day, Melbourne. Uh, and uh, what a wonderful job security guards across our wonderful city do. And I don't think they get enough credit. We've just discovered that they are paid just above minimum wage, one of the lowest paid professions. And I was genuinely surprised because... I do believe there's danger involved, risk. They're often working uh, hours, I mean, overnight hours. Have, thinking that you're a security guard and your your job is to man a supermarket overnight, like the actual that, – that's a big gig. And when you see, you know, people that maybe less look less desirable approach you in a hoodie and maybe they've got weapons, well, you – it's dangerous. I think I just said to you on the ad break, Boxy, it's a thankless job, Byron. Oh. Like, it's like an umpire. <laughs> that thankless job. Like, they go, if they if they do a bad job, they get hammered. If they do oh, a good yeah. job, everyone just boos them anyway. But with a security guard, if you protect something, well, that's your job. If mm. you stop someone and then, you know, assault someone, like as, as a security guard, they grab them and pin them down, they'll probably sue them. Exactly. For, like, Man-handling. It's, a, it's a thankless job. It is. But we need them to protect us. We do, and we should um, campaign for them to get more money. It's not enough. Absolutely. Now, we've, uh, we're celebrating you security guards. We've got Jenny from Mornington. Hi, Jenny. Jenny from the blog. Morning. Jenny, Jenny, are you a secu- do you work security? Uh, I did a few years ago while I was studying for my degree. It was um, event work that I did. So I worked for schoolies in Queensland. Oh, oh no. <laughs> and def- definitely undervalued and oh. underpaid. Oh. We, Thankless we did. We did 18-hour shifts, Whoa. and by about night three, night four, we would have 17-year-olds, slimy 17-year-olds, 17 year old, 17 year vomiting oh, on us. Oh, oh. Jenny. Double the, double the hourly rate. Gee, that is so true. Like, think about, when you actually think about what that job involves, <sighs> I'm surprised anyone does it, particularly for minimum wage. We, there should be picketing the streets. You'd think there'd be a union of some sort. Um, Caitlin and Craig, thanks else. for that, Jenny. Hey, Caitlin. Hi, Fifi. I love this show. Oh, thanks, Caitlin. We love you because you're a nurse at the Royal Melbourne. I am. And you do you do yeah. a wonderful. That's uh, look. We often do shout outs to nurses because you're doing an incredible job too. Thank you, but I just wanted to say thank you to all the security guards because they just deal with so much. They they come to every code and they're always there when you call them, and they come in with their goggles and their gloves, and they just come in there and do their best. Because you'd be dealing sometimes, I'm guessing, at the hospital with, with patients that um, maybe were drug affected and, all, and quite Absolutely. dangerous. Absolutely. And and sometimes it's not even the drug affected patients. It's also the families that get aggressive. So oh gosh. they're Kate- always there to protect us. So I just want to say a big thanks on behalf of all the nurses. Oh, Caitlin, that's lovely. just a quick question. What, what's the goggles for? The goggles, in case people spit like all bodily fluids and whatnot, especially oh, if they're oh. going into the trauma base. End up being a very good question. You get spat on and you wear goggles. Oh, I think being a security guard is one would be one of the toughest jobs for what you've got to deal with because you're dealing with either angry people, criminal people. I mean, the, the elements you're dealing with are tough. Sam in Epping. Hey, Sam. Hello. How are you going? Yeah, good, Sam. Now, you do you still work security or were you working security? Unfortunately, I still do. Oh, well, Sam, we tip our hat to you this morning. We think you do a great job. What, what, what have you had to deal with? What's an example of something... I, I do a lot of um, a lot of factories, so the the overnight factory stays and the the night shift um, protecting the factory. Yeah. Where I need to patrol it, and uh, yeah, once I I had a bunch of guys come in and and try to steal the place. I mean, it's stupid because there's nothing in there besides um, boxes and and cardboard. Mm-hmm. So I'm not sure what they're in there to steal, but yeah, I got I got held down and. Um, physically bashed and oh wow. sam yeah went went to hospital and yeah yeah it was it was just disgusting so you, you looked covered, after yeah, yeah you covered for all that sam do they no no, no. So they, to... don't, they don't they don't cover for stuff like that wow even cancelling and stuff afterwards nothing that's wow. ridiculous so you if you had time off work you don't get looked after because you were physically assaulted whilst on the job well it, it's ca- it's considered as a casual shift Oh, yes, so, so you're not actually, you're casual, of course. Yeah. But the other issue with uh, a lot of security workers, they're working casual, so you've got none of the benefits that come with being a full-time employee. Wow. That is absolutely oh, well. unbelievable. Oh. Let's make a stop to that. I think this has been very enlightening, mm. and thank you guys uh, Thanks, for Sammy. calling, Sam and Caitlin You're doing and a good Jenny. job, buddy. Yeah, keep it up.